Hallelujah. My sisters, my brothers. Hey. So, it is me again now in part two. Hey. I was talking about the forgiveness of Lord Jesus Christ. That if we don't forgive each other, yeah? If we don't forgive each other, our daddy will not forgive us. So, we have to forgive each other because um, sometimes when we sit like this and, and imagine, um, we have not forgiven each, each, each other. It is, um, it is not good anyway. It's not good. Even now when I'm talking and preaching in YouTube, anybody who have done wrong to him, I ask for forgiveness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And me too. I forgive you in the name of Jesus. Because I believe that there are many people who they are going to watch this preaching uh, through YouTube and maybe have done wrong thing to them. And uh, we have not forgiven each other. But I am asking anybody who have done wrong to him to forgive me in Jesus' name. And I too, I forgive you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I thank our Father in heaven to forgive us too. Because when we forgive each other and our Father in heaven forgive us too, he forgives us and he loves us and he continues loving us. Because we are forgive each other, we are clean. In our heart we are clean. We have nothing, we have nothing to, 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 we have nothing wrong in our hearts. And that is wonderful because this word of God saying that we have to forgive each other so that our Father in heaven will forgive us. And when we don't forgive each other, our Father in heaven will not forgive us the wrong we have done. And we thank God for that. We thank God. I thank God so much for that because uh, uh, we are human beings. Yes. It's nobody who is perfect. It's nobody is 100% perfect. Yes. Even though we are Christians and uh, even though we are going to the church, sometimes we do, we do something wrong. Sometimes... Sometimes we see something which it makes our heart to, 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 to not be happy. And that's why we're asking for forgiveness. Or sometimes you hear something that didn't make you happy. You start to, Kwazika, uh, that is Swahili. You start to, you start to, no, 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 you don't be happy, you know. You say, look at this thing, this and this and this. I don't want to talk too much. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. So my sisters and my brothers, and sometimes we abuse each other. Sometimes we sort each other. Sometimes we throw words. Sometimes we quarrel. Sometimes, oh, even sometimes we, we touch things which are wrong, which the Lord don't want us to touch. And by the grace of God, we thank God for this forgiveness. He has given us to forgive each other. We thank God so much. We thank Jesus so much. Because without Jesus, where could we be, my sister, my brother? Where could you be? Because without Jesus, to bring that forgiveness in this world, how could we be? Because we couldn't forgive each other. We could be fighting, every time fighting, 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 fighting. If you quarrel with somebody today and tomorrow you will meet him in the street, you will start to box again. Or some other people, even they can box, they can quarrel, they can fight, and because they didn't forgive each other, even they can meet in Christmas, the end of the year is going to end. Maybe they will meet even in the church. When they come outside, they say, I will wait in the road. You start again to box each other. Because of what? Because there is no forgiveness. But forgiveness is something which is wonderful, and forgiveness is something which we humble ourselves in the presence of Lord. Forgiveness is, it is well low. Amen. Amen. It is well, because when you forgive me, I'll be happy. And even if, somebody, if, if you ask somebody for forgiveness, or you forgive him, and he, um, he don't want to forgive you, but so long as you have asked the person for forgiveness, you know what? The Lord Almighty God in heaven, he has here your forgiveness. And even it's better you to ask somebody for forgiveness, and him to love to you. Because, you know, many people, they don't like to go for forgiveness because they are ashamed for themselves. He said that when I go to ask for forgiveness, he's going to start to laugh to me. He said, you see, he's the one who started. You see, he has bring himself to me. Mm -hmm. No, don't mind. You go and ask for forgiveness and forgive that person. Even if you love and say, you see, this was this, this was this. Or even if we talk against you to other people, 
or his friends, it is well because you already you have washed your hands, your hands are clean, you have washed your heart, your heart is clean, and you are, your, your name is written in the book of life. Your name is no longer in the book of Satan. Because you know, when this problem started, uh, the Satan, also the Satan is ready, he's having a pain and a very, very, very big black book. If people, they do sin, he writes it very quick. He writes it very quick. Yes, that is the work of the devil. But we will not agree to our names to be written in the book of the devil. So we have to forgive each other. So the Lord will wrap that name in the book of Satan and write our names in the book of life. And we are going to remain the children of God. We are going to remain the children of Messiah, of El Shaddai. Forgiveness is good. Yes, forgiveness is good. Me, I forgive all of them who, who they have done wrong to me. Yes. And all of them who have done wrong to me, I pray today, forgive me in the name of Jesus. Today, in this good day, the Lord has made it. Today, on 30th October 2014, anybody who I done wrong to him, my brother, my sister, I'm asking you to forgive me if I've done something wrong to you. Please, please, and me too, I forgive you. Because we are human beings. We are the children of God. We are not perfect. Whom is perfect is only God. Whom is perfect is only Messiah. But we human beings, we are living in this world. Mostly Christians who they have given their life to Jesus Christ. We are living in this world. It is not our world. It is not our home. Our home is heaven. So we are just living in this world. This world is not our home. So we have to prepare for ourselves to go to our home, to the kingdom of heaven. We have to prepare ourselves for this forgiveness. It's a very strong message of Lord Jesus Christ. Because when we remember that day how Jesus Christ suffered, my sister, you will agree to forgive me. I will agree to, to forgive you. Because the way Jesus Christ suffered for human beings to save our lives, and now we are living because of Jesus, we have to forgive each other. We have to forgive our children. We have to forgive our wives. We have to forgive our husbands. We have to forgive our friends. We have to forgive our neighbors. And even we have to forgive those ones we don't know them. Why? Because this world is not our home. We are just waiting. There is a day. One day, one day. One day, one day. Jesus Christ will come. And we pray by the grace of God that when this time comes for rapture, we are clean, inside and outside. We have repented our sins. We have forgiven each other. We have, and we have been forgiven in heaven. The Lord Almighty God has forgiven us. Yes, there is nothing bad like no forgiveness. Even if you do something wrong yourself to the Lord Almighty God, you do wrong something in the earth and in heaven, Jesus will not be happy. Even the angels will not be happy. Lord Jesus will not be happy. My sister, my brother, we have to forgive each other. You have to forgive me. I forgive you. Yes, it is it. That is it. Without forgiveness, uh-oh. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you the truth. How the Lord is talking right now. He's saying we forgive ourselves. Let us forgive each other. Let us humble ourselves. Today, my sister, my brother, let me tell you something. Ask for forgiveness and forgive so that the Lord will forgive you too. Give your life to Jesus Christ again. Kneel in your house. Pray for forgiveness. Pray, Lord, humble yourself and ask Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Jireh, Daddy, to fill me with the Holy Spirit, powerful, which I can, I can, I can forgive my sisters and my brothers, which I can forgive my friends, I can forgive my children, I can forgive my husband, so that I have peace in my house. I can forgive even my grandmother, my grandfather. We have to forgive. We have to forgive them. We have to forgive even the pastor. Even the pastor himself is not 100% when he's standing in the altar. Sometimes he do things wrong. So we have to forgive him. And the pastor also have to learn to forgive the conquerors. 
Because if you don't forgive the congregation, they will not come to church. They will come to church, they will not worship, they will not sing, they will not pray, they will not do anything. So, even a servant of God, woman of God, man of God, learn to forgive. Forgive. We have to forgive. You servant of God, you have to forgive me, I have to forgive you. It doesn't matter you are big, small, slim, tall, or fat. Anything you are, short one. It doesn't matter. It's a girl. We have to forgive each other. Mostly servants of God, we have to forgive each other to forgive the church so that the church will humble themselves. We have to humble ourselves. We have to, to show that forgiveness. We have to show that forgiveness. We people, we are preaching. We have to show that forgiveness. Forgiveness, it is coming from Jesus. We have to forgive each other because if you don't forgive, nobody will come to your church. And you have to teach people to forgive also too. Yes. We have to teach ourselves to forgive each other too. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, my sisters and my brothers, for this word of God, the powerful message of God for forgiveness. There is nothing in this world like forgiveness. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. There is nothing like forgiveness in this world. You have to forgive me. Let me tell you something. You like it or not. You believe in Jesus Christ. You want to make heaven. You want to see Jesus. You want to enter the kingdom of heaven. You have to forgive me. You like it or not. And I have to forgive you. I like it or not. Because if we don't forgive each other, God will not have mercy for us. Even when you pray for what you want, you cry for Jehovah. You say, Rabba, Sika, Laba, Kosanda, Rabba, Koshe. And you are going in church, praying in tongues, kneeling down, falling down. Tears are coming are coming out, you are sweating, your clothes are dirty, you are falling, rolling down, and calling, oh my Lord, I love you, Jesus, Father, Lord, have mercy, have mercy. No, how? He said, forgive your, you forgive the other ones who have done wrong for you, and then me too, I will forgive you, but if you don't forgive them, me too, I will not forgive you. So my sister, my brother, prepare yourself, kneel down, and pray God. How you can make it, how the Lord will give you power to pray and to cry for Jehovah, to forgive you, forgive the other ones who they have done wrong to you, so that he will forgive you too in Jesus' name. So my sister, my brother, this is the message of Lord. With the Lord, call me and tell me to preach. And that's why I've preached today, forgiveness. You like it or not, we have to forgive each other. So that our daddy will forgive us. So daddy cannot be annoyed every time. Yes. And I am preaching the way the Holy Spirit of Lord is in control. So my sister and my brother, you are welcome in the name of Jesus. We have to forgive each other in the name of Jesus. Let us forgive each other. Let us do our best. Humble ourselves. Forgive. Forgive. Father will forgive us. And when we go to daddy in the church, we are forgive each other. We are talking holding our hands, going to the church and doing the work of God. Daddy will be happy. The spirit of daddy will come down. The angels will come down because you know that my children, they humble themselves and they ask for forgiveness. They are clean and I forgive them. Let me go and hear their prayers. Let me go and give them answers for their prayers. And the Lord is going to give the prayers of our, is going to give the answers of our prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Because we are forgive each other. Because you are forgive me and we are happy we are going to the church. The family who have children, women who are married, men who they are married, and the children who they have, their parents, even who they don't have, neighbors, friends. When we go in the church, in the door, we greet ourselves, praise the Lord, God bless you, God bless you, it is well. And the Lord here, it is wonderful, it's joy. But when we go in the door, we don't greet anybody. When we finish the church, we don't greet anybody, we don't talk. Even when the church finishes, you see somebody running outside like this, stop. He cannot even greet the pastor because he cannot talk with the pastor. He cannot even, he cannot greet our sister who they were singing choir together because of forgiveness. So today is the day the Lord has made it for forgiveness. My sisters and my brothers, we have to forgive each other so that our Father in heaven to forgive us. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you, my sisters and my brothers. It is well. Jesus loves you and Jesus loves me too. Thank you so much for sharing this word with me. And let us forgive each other so that our Father in heaven forgive us and to hear our prayers and to answer our prayers in Jesus' name. It is me, Pastor Sister Magdalene Emily Tanui. God bless you. Thank you so much.
เอเมนฮาเลลูยาเอเมน God bless you bye bye